What's up, Tutorinos? Welcome back to another episode of Game Addicts Play Mass Effect 1? Yes. So, as you may or may not know, you can do a New Game Plus in the first Mass Effect, and I think you do it in the other ones too. Well, of course, I missed out on Bring Down the Sky because of a recording snafu. I recorded it, played it, lost it. Uh, my, my my voice sounds way down here like this, and, uh, and I'm talking like this, and... and, and yeah, you get the story, but I sound like an idiot. And I then I saved over it, couldn't redo it. So literally, the, 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 if you've been watching this series so far, you know. So I went back around, restarted the entire game, just buzzed through the first mission, got, became a specter, and now I can go do anything I want. So what I'm going to do, I don't, I don't even have my entire squad. I don't even have Liara yet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run through with probably with Garrison Rex, because your side characters don't count. It, like it doesn't matter. I'm gonna tag this on the end of the playlist. It's almost like if, as if you guys are enjoying it, as if like uh, you know, way back when when you beat the game and then you, you know, you already seen the ending. So now let's see this part. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I am I'm still leveled up the same way, although I was partially right. You uh, you do get ten more levels for level sixty, sure. However, little bit of a Asterix, it's on the new game plus. Yeah, so my Paragon and Renegade have now uh, reset. I'm not gonna bother, I'm just gonna play through this thing. We're gonna leave the Citadel and head straight for that asteroid. In Asgard. message from Alliance Command there. coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulation. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy This is for their moon drills, mission that we've already seen. Is no longer responding to our... How many casualties so far? 17 VIs. But as it, we need you to fight your way. I... The VI... Because I'm level 50, I, you, you, you unlock that mission after level 30. I got the hit for it again. So, Asteroid X57. Never get tired of seeing a view like that. All right, so we gotta shut down these torches. First, we're gonna head up, check out this question mark. Heading to position. Body of G. Mendel. Victor. This victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot in the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered, only to be executed by his sadistic captors. 
Survey Station 3, final entry. Logged by Engineer G. Mendel. This, the central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. I'm surprised their surface comms work half as well as they do. When Slod shows up, to relieve me, I'm going to see if I can get the old girl rough up and running again. All right. And of course... Of course, like, you know, you end the game, and I'm like, I got like 10 Omnigel, 10 Metagel, or uh, 10 Metagel, 10, and 10 uh, grenades. But when you start the game over, even though you retain your weapons and your armor, uh, those upgrades, you need to buy them again. So, I don't have any. I only got five. It should do me, though. This takes roughly about an hour to do. Thing up here. I can't remember if this is worth anything or not. Data link between the transmission tower and the survey stations have been restored. Survey stations now are, are now shown on your map. All right, so that one that we had found that, we, that was right near our drop zone it just happened to be. the right direction. Oh, are, are I don't we? know who you are, but I'm dead. Go. I gotta go. Hi, man. This is Donnie Baker, and I'm on a asteroid, right about ready to crash into our planet. this dude over here. Now all targets are down. So this asteroid has been hijacked is going to slam into one of the biggest human colonies. I'm talking four million people. Not only that, but it's going to completely eradicate life on the planet. It's like an extinction event. Why are you putting your gun away? Ah. not bothered about looting any of this number one I'm full number two I don't need anything I'm literally running the stuff I ran at the end of the game 
Other than maybe Garrus, because I didn't feel like wasting the time to glitch him into heavy armor. But he doesn't really need it. Boom. I'm reading that the torch is offline. Was that you? Can you hear me? Yep, I hear you. What's going on? Who are you? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know. But if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. Yeah. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. Let's get a move on. Man, I love the soundtrack for this game. I don't know how well that picks up on the recording. It's that low synth. Hey. Oh God, I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? <sighs> you can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the yeah. hell's wrong with you? Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were one of them. Here's a tip: two eyes, human; <laughs> four eyes, Batarian. Yeah. Okay. I'll remember that. Leave the fighting to me from now on, Commander Shepard. Systems Alliance. Such a dick, right Simon. now. Simon Adwell. I think he's just I'm frustrated for having to redo run. this thing. Listen. We don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. I just shut one down. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were mm -hmm. set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. Yeah. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Should I requisition a cow to walk through ahead of me? <laughs> Look, you can disable them, just not remotely. I didn't have the equipment to set it up differently. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. I came across a member of your crew. He didn't make it. I... I see. Well, maybe the other two are still out there. You never know. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive? She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. So you can ask about the asteroid, you can ask about evacuating? Nah, there's no chance. So you'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you. Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. Yep. I mean, and, and you can ask him basic questions about how, like, how bad it's gonna be. Uh, pretty much, yeah, it's gonna be an extinction event. Millions of people will die instantly. Many more will, will die if they're not if, if they're not near the blast radius or blast zone. Like, oh, get the mic. I keep hitting this uh, pop filter, so I do apologize for that. I'm not used to this. If you watched the last part of the last episode, I'm, I'm still running the same rig. I'm, it's the same day. I'm still wearing the, I'm still wearing the same shirt, right? But yeah, well, I'm having issues with with the interface, and I, and, uh, I don't want to have to deal with it uh, accidentally making my voice terrible. Just, and that's why I'm redoing this. All right, what we got? Eight. 
Computers filled with operation logs, personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X57 engineers. It includes scripts for a, a, several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X57, rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X57, when your world seems hollow, we'll help touch you. We'll help you touch the sky. That's why I'm not recording these. Radio X57, talk hard. Radio X57, your last best hope for a rock within 300,000 kilometers. Turn that station back on. Radio stations? And no problem. It open. Body has severe burns, shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantly. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. So yeah, I have my window open over here too, because it's pretty nice out today. And with this mic, it picks up a mouse fart. So I have airplanes fly low overhead because there's an airport just right outside of town. But you hear like the occasional like ambiance of airplanes or sirens. I live near a hospital. I do apologize for that. Normally it wouldn't be a problem, but what to do? Okay.
torches everywhere. That's my job. He's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there. Don't shoot, please. No. We're shutting down the torches. So this is actually the first on-screen representation of the Batarians. Uh, for some reason, I don't know exactly why they weren't um, put into the original game, or like proper. I want to say that the first novel, which came out uh, like six months or so, maybe around that point, uh, right before Mass Effect 1 came out, had to do with Batarians. Uh, of course, that was... Uh, Captain Anderson and Saren's mission that went awry in that book, but yeah, I want to say that that, that Batarians were in that. It's been a while since I've read that book, but I want to say that, that, that like they were. Of course, the, the Batarians are involved within your Shepard's backstory too, for their service record, depending on which of the three major events that your Shepard was a part of. So we're getting to see them like firsthand now. And then, of course, we will see them in, in the next game as well. well. We'll see a lot of them in the next game, comparatively. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, Fusion Torch. All right. One point. Uh, yeah, we'll work on that, I guess. Oh, I, 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 well, I guess I don't have a point. Fine, then. When I re, uh, for the most part, when I re-leveled up, because when you, you don't get a re-level up your Shepard. Because if I did, I would have focused more on shotguns. Because I kind of just discovered that little thing that I like doing now. Just running around, and I got that ammo that pretty much explodes everything. And one shot's almost everything. Make it up this mountain, this hill, and try not to die. That's why we get out to blow shit up. Because it levels us up. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Double oops. It don't matter.
Ready? Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Does it not? Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I've got nothing to say to a Batarian terrorist. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. <laughs> Attack him. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Bollock wants you dead. And what Bollock wants, Bollock gets. I can't change that. Spoken like a true lackey. You get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Or you could take your chances with me. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Balak will get what's coming to him. And so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Alex, hold up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. Right on. Well, let's go get him then. here for survey station two. Wrap that up and then we can hit the main facility and wrap up, bring down the sky for a second time. Communications are down. There are non corporate dropships landing near the main facility. There are flashes of light over the horizon. Can't be certain, but I guess it's heavy arms fire. As per emergency protocol, I'm arming up the defense drones. I'm not waiting for my pickup. We'll do this. Ah. Whatsoever. We'll head this way. Ah, whoa, we e -e. didn't make it very far. Looks like he died from a single shot through his helmet, likely from a sniper. Whoever killed him didn't even bother to search his body. There's still equipment. my 
welcoming party. Here we go. What are you doing? Take your gun out. Pick up some grenades, which I can't carry anymore. First. You humans. What about me? You're almost more trouble than you're worth. I'm just getting started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Valak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. 
It's been like that for decades. Yeah, and you did it to yourself. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? I could ask you the same thing. How many innocent Batarians died at Torfin? Oh, or had you forgotten about that? Torfin was retaliation for your attack of Elysium. You pushed, we pushed back. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. Gotta do you it. can go, but this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe, but I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on a timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. Right. That's it. Bag of attack. Take cover! Letting him go was better than the alternative. I thought you were going to stay someplace safe. I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour in our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city. The most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she all right? Is her team? I let Balak walk so he wouldn't blow them up. If they're not all right, he's gonna have a short, unhappy life. You let him go to save them? Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? You think I should have let him blow up your friends? Sacrificed a few now to avoid possible deaths later? What? No, I... Nobody dies on my watch. Yeah, Balak might attack another colony in the future. If he does, I'll be there to nail him to the wall. Ease down, son. Anyone asks me, you did the right thing. If they say otherwise, I'll set them straight. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. So you can get, uh, Quarian armor, all these armors, or his Omni tool. I know it's a lot to ask, but that Omni tool of yours? I could really use something like that. Shepard, I think I mentioned that you saved my kids and grandkids. 
What's an Omnitool compared to that? You take it, with my blessing. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers? Have you found them? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I... I see. Well then, I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. So let's check out... Uh, so, that, uh, that Omni tool. Look at that sucker. Hell yeah. Dude just walks out, doesn't thank me. I can't believe you let Ballot go to save us. I half expected you to just let us die, sacrifice the few for the many. Before I continue, my shepherd sacrificed his crew to defeat the Batarians on Torfin. I, unlike, like, that would be like the ideal Renegade start, you know. Wow, whatever, you know. We won. My Shepard deals with that with like a, in my brain and how I play him, like a PTSD. It was something that he felt like he had to do and he regrets it to this day. That's what makes the decision with, on Vermeer, hurt, you know, and that's what makes this. It's like, he's put in a situation where he could sacrifice them to stop him. And he doesn't do that this time. He saves the people. It's almost like he's making up for that in some way. Then I'd be no better than the Batarians. Besides, Balak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing. No matter what. I wish I could have saved him, too. It's not your fault. You did what you could. At least, Aaron died in the place he loved. He was the one who convinced me to join the team here. Said it would be an adventure. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Shepard. Commander Shepard. Thank you, Commander Shepard. You're not exactly what I expected, but thank you. Now you can ask him stuff. Or her stuff, I'm sorry. How did the asteroid get all the way over here? Why wasn't someone alerted sooner? The asteroid was scheduled to arrive in a day or two. Balak just sped it up. This rock is full of valuable minerals, but it was too far from Terra Nova to be profitable, so... We attached some fusion rockets to it and drove it back. It was all going smoothly until... We'll get everything back to normal soon enough. <laughs> Almost everything. What can you tell me about the Batarians? What were they hoping to achieve with all this? I don't even think they knew. When they first arrived, they were talking about getting us back to their ship. They wanted to sell us as slaves. When Balak showed up, Everything changed. It was his idea to redirect the asteroid. Said it was the will of the Batarian Rebellion, whatever that is. They followed him quickly enough, but I don't know. I don't think they're all as fanatical as he was. That was a brave thing you did, Kate. Contacting me on the radio? Risking your life? Stubborn and determined runs in the family. My father was in the Alliance back on Earth. I think he was disappointed none of us kids signed up, but he'd be proud of Aaron. Sorry. <laughs> I just... <laughs> You've been through a lot. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. And that'll do it. That wraps up Bring Down the Sky DLC for Mass Effect. So I'm really glad that I was able to go back and add this in. Uh, thank all you guys. 
again for following along and watching all these videos if you have uh, I, I've enjoyed recording and and uh, documenting and, and commenting on one of my favorite games of all time and now I can't wait for Mass Effect 2 until then I've been Brando and I will see you later guys game on